All right, eSkaters. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to program your Miami Electric Skateboards OESC. Now, this ESC is based off of Benjamin Vetter's um, VESC 4.12 hardware. And on our carbon fiber skateboards, it's pretty easy to access it through the bottom panel. It's just four screws holding it in place. So you're gonna go ahead and undo these screws. Pop the lid out. And there you have access to the ESC. Now you can use one of our charging bracelets which is used to charge our remotes. You could see it's a micro USB, fits right in. But it's also a micro USB on the VESC. So just go ahead and plug that in. And plug it into your computer. Now you're going to want to head and go ahead and power on your board. You'll hear your PC confirm that it got connected. Now on the PC, you want to go ahead and open up the new VESC tool. So once this loads, there's a couple different settings you can go ahead and use. But first, we want to make sure that you're fully up to date so go ahead and connect up here or using the button on the welcome screen now go over to firmware and it should have read the firmware version that's on the VESC but if this is not showing up or it's a different version or you just need to update, make sure you go through and you pick the correct firmware version. This is 4.12. And then just go ahead and choose the default firmware. And then go ahead and update. You'll get a pop-up saying make sure you wanna continue. Now for the next 10 seconds, do not touch your VESC. So give it a second to reconnect. You should hear the confirmation on your computer that it reconnected. And go ahead and connect again on the best tool. Again, it should be on the newest version that you just uploaded, in this case, 3.3.4. Now, going back to the welcome screen, there's a few different wizards that you can go ahead and use. We're gonna go ahead and use the motor setup wizard start that up now you can read through this I've done it a few times so just hit next yes um, here's where you'll choose either BLDC or FOC depending on your motor for our purposes we're going to go ahead and use BLDC we can make another video on FOC later Now here, you wanna go ahead and adjust these settings for how powerful you want your board to react. Now, given the motor and the battery, we're good with the 60 amps. However, on the battery, we wanna go ahead and change this to 25. And on the regen, which is your regenerative braking, go ahead and change that to negative 12. Hit next. Now here, you can go ahead and adjust the cutoff for your battery, depending on which battery you have. Now, I do have a 12S battery in here. We'll go ahead and hit apply. You see it changes the values. Just hit next. Now, if you remember, we connected a sensor 
wire onto this OESC. So we do have a sensor on here. So just go ahead and choose Hall Sensor. Hit Next. Now here, we'll run a motor detection where the ESC will be able to choose exactly the right parameters for this motor. Every motor is a little unique. So you wanna go ahead and run this for every motor you get or if you change motors. Now here, we just hit this play button. Make sure there's nothing in the way of your motor because it will spin up right now. Hit okay. So there it goes. It received the results. Now you wanna go ahead and hit apply on that. You can see it changes to the appropriate results and hit next. After that, we're all done. So finish and we'll move on to the remote. Now this would be an input setup wizard. Just open that up. Now here, we just have a single VESC build. So that's the first option. And we're using a PPM input. Here, you can adjust your delays. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our remote. So right there, you can see, this remote has dual speed modes. So right now we're on the first speed mode and it's only going up to 62% throttle. We go ahead and change that you can see it uses 100% throttle. The braking will always go up to 100%, no matter what mode you're on. All right. And here, we'll go ahead and use current. Now, I like to use current um, with no reverse and brake. Hit apply on that. Hit next. Now here, there's a couple delays that may adjust your ride. I always change these to one or zero. Right now I'm leaving it at one. And you wanna go ahead and write this configuration to the VESC. So once you get that green confirmation at the bottom, you wanna go ahead and hit next and finish. You can go ahead and test this out now. Your remote should spin up your motor. If you remember, we also attached a Bluetooth connection. So this requires an additional setup of going over to the UART and adjusting this bud rate to 9,600. I'm gonna go ahead and write that. And then in the general tab, confirm that this is set to PPM and UART. So now that everything is confirmed, you can go ahead and disconnect your VESC by hitting the disconnect button on the VESC tool. Feel free to close out of that. Unplug the USB. You can turn off your board. And before closing everything up on the board, you wanna make sure your settings are still working. So turn your board back on.
turn your remote on. So you can see it still spins up the board. Now let's confirm that the Bluetooth is working. Now on the Bluetooth, if you've connected previously, it should just reconnect. As you can see, I am getting the readout from the VESC. And if I do use it, I am getting live data into the best, into the phone. If you turn off the board, that data stops. So now that we know it works, feel free to put this little bottom plate back on. These screws you do not want to over tighten as they can get stripped kind of easily. But just a little Loctite will hold them in place. And that's it. You're ready to hit the streets.